Hey there, welcome to Gander Flight. I'm Joshua and today I want to talk to you about a super simple DIY project that you can use to make shaking spray can cans even easier. So I was watching YouTube the other day and watching one of my favorite creators, 65 Ford, and he made an awesome rattle can drill powered shaker. He used some three inch PVC piping and a plumbing test plug and made an awesome long term rattle can spare. And if you like this video, go ahead and check his out because the way he makes it is gonna last forever. Now, I went out to the garage and I was like, I don't have three inch PVC pipe and I don't have a test plug kit with me right now. What can I use that I already have to give this idea a, a try, see if I like it, and then if I like it, I'll go out and I'll buy the materials to make one that's gonna last a long time. And I was looking around and I saw the recycling bin. And I was like, you know what? I've got this little organizer over here where I keep all my WD-40 and carburetor cleaner, and it's just tin cans screwed to a board. It works really well for organization, but I was like, well, obviously they fit in there. So I grabbed a tin can, grabbed a spray paint bottle, and uh, lo and behold, it's, it's awesome. So I wanna show you how I made a real quick free version to give it a try. It lasts well. It's not gonna last for years like the PVC one the 65 Ford made, but if you are interested in giving this a try, go ahead and make the free one because if you have a drill, I guarantee you have the rest of the materials to make this. Let's get right into it. All right, so this project is gonna presuppose that you have a drill and some drill bits. Um, if you have a drill and some drill bits, I'm assuming you're gonna be able to find the rest of these supplies in your garage right now for free. And what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a tin can, a bolt, a nut, and some washers. That's about it. Some sandpaper would be a great idea. But basically, we're just gonna take the tin can, we're gonna flip it over. If you can find the lid to the tin can, put it on the bottom, and that way when we add the nut and bolt, it adds a little bit more support and rigidity to this whole ensemble. But basically, we're just gonna drill a hole through the bottom, try and get it as centered as possible. But now what we're gonna do is just put our bolt in through the bottom. I'm gonna add a little lock washer there, because I have it. And I found it's easiest to put this on a drill or a long screwdriver, point up, and then just kind of run it through. And get it through there. And I'm going to add my other washers. There we go. And a nut. And then we're just going to tighten this, tighten this down. And that's it, that's the whole contraption. Uh, I like the lid on the bottom, again, because it gives, adds a little bit more support. The first one I made, um, it lasted for a little bit, but then it kind of, it bent out of shape. And this definitely adds some more support. So then we're just gonna chuck this up into the drill. And the last piece, just to save your fingers, is grab some sandpaper, hold it in there, and run it along as it's spinning, just to clean up these sharp edges. Now, we just take the spray paint can, drop it in, start spinning. You can hear that ball bearing still rattling. Now, if you don't like the spray paint bo bobbling around in there, um, just grab a, grab a cloth or a paper towel or something and fill up that empty gap. and you spin your paint cans. So there we have it. The all but free DIY version of the, the spray paint can shaker. Uh, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, you go out, you make one of these, and you like how it performs, you think you're gonna use it again, go and check out 65 Ford's video, and uh, definitely make a, a beefier version. This one is not gonna last forever, but it, it's gonna last for quite a while time to figure out whether you actually do like the tool and whether you're actually gonna to continue to use it and then go invest the 10 to $15 to make one of those PVC versions. If you like DIY projects and a little life hacks, go ahead and consider showing your support down below. Check out ganderfight.co and our free group, DIYers, Tinkers, Fixers, and Makers. I'll put a link to all that stuff down in the description. Until next time, I'm Joshua and you've been watching Ganderflight. Take care and pay it forward.